Oh, it's mailbag time again. I've got so much stuff, I'm actually going to split this into two mailbags. So, we're just going to go through and I'll sort out later. Stick around. Oh, let's get into this thing. Don't forget to check out links down below for anything you see here which you may be interested in. I often have links. And uh, thanks to my Patreon supporters as well, anyone that supports the channel or memberships on YouTube even. What's this? Ooh, that's a nice presentation. So I purchased these at eBay and the guy's actually been duly generous, he actually gave me some extra ones as well. I think you recognised me from the... Yeah, I think you commented about the YouTube videos, so... Hello. He sells these on eBay. And these are jumpers. So shorting links for multimeters. So I've got a few different ones. Well, a couple of different ones, I think it was. I can't remember exactly which, what they were. And it's basically a kit. So you just got the actual male banana jacks. You fit them onto the board in the spacings you require. These are adjustable, so you can adjust and suit the board that you need while they're fitment that you need, like 19mm jacks or slightly wider ones or some meters. It's got a little handle on here as well, which is 3D printed, so you can plug it in that easy enough. It sent me some extra bits as well. It sent me a note, what's that? So look at this. Mm, instructions. Have a read of that. I'll read it, I'll read it later. So I think these are the same ones. Oh, this one's a different one. This is a square board, so it'd be a 19mm spacing. So he's got really nice design here. This is actually, you can see this has been laser cut or something. And um, that's actually really nice. Good on him, looks really professional. It's obviously someone doing it themselves at home, you know, but it looks good. Another different design. So I think some of these are like standard size. Some of these will suit the Datron, and I think some will suit the HP 3456 multimeter as well. Excellent. I'll chuck links down below for these. Go to uh, eBay and go and check it out. I've got a dot on my finger again. This is something else I bought for eBay, as you may have noticed from the packaging. That's it. It's a DIY kind of kit kind of riser card. Now this is meant for the Marconi 2955. As you know, I've got a Marconi 2955, which I showed previously in my repair video. Did a couple of videos and everything. I thought I'd get a riser card for it. I haven't had to use one yet, but being an old piece of gear, it's going to be a time when eventually it's going to fail again, and I'm going to need to repair it. And to do that, I'm going to need a rise card. So I saw this on eBay, so I thought, right, I'm going to get this thing and future proof, because if you can get these things at the time, take the opportunity. In a year's time, and you find you need one, they may not be available anymore. That's the risk you run. Also, don't forget to click like and subscribe as well, especially if you're first time here. If it is your first time here, definitely do subscribe. Okay, so these are oscillators. Uh, I've got some 1 MHz and some 4096 MHz. And I purchased these as a way of troubleshooting a CB I'm working on. Well, it's not a CB, it's a ham radio really. HR, was it 2510 or 2600? 2600 I think it is. The crystal oscillator on it isn't working for the processor. If I inject my own signal, it works, but it's not oscillating itself. It's got, but normally what we do is have a, a crystal on it and a couple of capacitors, and it will just use the internal oscillator and it provides its own clock signal. That's quite common. Well, in this case, it's not working, so I'm going to use an oscillator. I'm not sure which one yet. The original one's a 2 megahertz, but it can run faster. And I could try and inject my own signal one of these, and hopefully repair it. Double packaged. <laughs> Get some more earphones. 
Now I've got some which are okay. I mean, I've had them for a little while. I did show them a bag a while ago, a couple of years ago probably. And they've actually been working really well. But um, because I use them so much, the cables are starting to go. You know, that, that happens when they get a lot of use. So I thought I'd buy some more. This one's very similar. These in-ear things with the dual drivers. That's kind of what I like. I like the in-ear ones because they don't fall out. The quality of these things is actually quite good generally. If you choose carefully, you can get some nice quality equipment. Here's some AliExpress as well, so don't forget to check out the links down below. This is a very small package. What's this? One megahertz crystals. So I was actually going to try, before I put a, a TTO oscillator in, I was going to try putting in one of these new crystal resonators, just to see if it works. These are one megahertz. I thought I'd give it a try. I don't have anything like this around already, as any parts or anything, so I thought I'd get some just in case I can use my other things as well. But one megahertz is pretty low frequency, but some older gear, that's all I need anyway. Yeah, I just want to experiment with it. These are cheap, not expensive at all. There you go, that's what they look like. Let's get into here. Carefully, because I know what's in it. Don't want to cut into it. So one of the reasons I use this ram knife, right, is people have commented on my like, ram knife saying, oh, I want you to use a proper knife, and you know, it's, it's just stupid. Well, there's a reason I use this. Because if there's something inside it and this hits it, it isn't as likely to cut into it. If I'm using a knife like this and I cut and I could easily hit something and damage it. Whereas this is much less likely to cause damage if I do hit what's inside the packaging. This is why I use this. It just reduces the chance of messing it up. Yeah, I'll this one. So see how well it survived on the way here. This is an original President or Uniden HR2510 service manual. Original manual. These don't come up very often and I've been watching for one and one finally appeared online. So it's got really high resolution circuit diagrams, it's got the fold outs of the circuit board layouts. I mean you can get an electronic version of this but the quality isn't the same. That's good, this is looking pretty good. I mean, there's some fading on the on the layouts and stuff, you know. Obviously, the copying process, but it's still better than the electronic version, which I also have. But uh, yeah, that's good. The circuit diagram's pretty good, pretty good indeed. Excellent. So don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching. Have a chat down below, and don't forget to check out the links as well. Bye. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing, any money that goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and, you know, contribute to the channel, then please check out my Patreon page down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained. Yeah, if you want to support me, that's great. Um, of course, that would certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Click the bell icon. Bye.